made a big mistake by working on my game. And if I didn't fix it soon, it's gonna be a massive problem and I'll never be able to finish the game. Previously, I added a bunch of abilities like jumping, dodging, climbing, and flying, which were looking pretty great, for the most part. But as I started working on the combat system, a big mistake became very apparent to me. The way I was putting together abilities will slowly start to get out of hand. And we're talking about a game that's inspired by Kingdom Hearts, which is very well known to have hundreds of abilities. So what exactly was I doing wrong? First, I was using true and false states called booleans for each ability and their states. This was fine initially when I only had one or two abilities. But as I started to make more and more, the number of booleans I had to check became way too much with each new ability. Secondly, I was using unconventional hacky ways to do ability movements. For example, when I implemented the dodge roll, I had to push the player forward over a set amount of time, and I did that using a timeline, which is not the right way to do character movements. And lastly, I was creating and storing all my abilities inside the character system. And even with just a few abilities, this was the big mess that grew inside of the character system. Now imagine that, but with hundreds of abilities. It would be impossible to manage all that in one place. So how do I fix this all and avoid all these issues? I've been wondering this for many years while working on my previous games. And one day while randomly searching online for an unrelated topic, I found a video talking about something called the gameplay ability system. That took me down a rabbit hole of learning about this massive intricate system that Epic Games developed for Unreal Engine that is specifically designed to make the process of creating and managing abilities easier. This was created for games that have to juggle with many different abilities like Street Fighter, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy and Fortnite. Now some of you may ask, why doesn't every developer use this gameplay ability system? Here are some reasons why. Firstly, it's not a straightforward system to use and needs some time to learn and get used to. Secondly, it's not designed for all types of games, and it's mainly focused on gameplay heavy games like RPGs, fighting games, action adventures, and so on. And lastly, it involves working with C++, <laughs> which tends to scare away many developers. So what I did was I spent three entire weeks learning everything I could about the gameplay ability system and following a bunch of tutorials here and there on YouTube on how to properly set up everything. It was a little bit challenging because I didn't understand anything for the first few days. But by the third week, I had learned the basics and I was able to get the gameplay ability system set up in my game Lucas Realms. From there, I just remade all the abilities I made previously and made them using the gameplay ability system, which significantly improved the ability's robustness and made them more flexible. And with that, I'll be able to create abilities much easier and more organized in the future. I also wanted to remake the combat system, but I didn't have enough time. So I put that aside for next time and worked on some easier features like adding a new playground stage to better test gameplay mechanics, item drops that give the player HP, MP and gold, a level up system, which I'll go over more in detail in the next video, a basic command menu, the much requested pause menu and a main menu for Luminous Realms. And one final thing I wanted to do was to do a quick overhaul for the UI of the game as I felt my game was starting to look a little bit too much like Kingdom Hearts. So for now it's looking a little bit more unique but may not be so fancy as I did not want to spend too much time on the art of the UI because I'm still working out what the art style of the game will be like. By the way, did you know you can play my game Luminous Realms as I'm developing it by joining my Discord where you can discuss and give feedback on the game with everyone? Also, if you want to support the development of Luminous Realms, you can go to my Patreon where you can also get early sneak peeks of the game's progress, concept art and alongside other updates. You'll also get a shout out in my videos and your name added to the game's credits. Speaking of shout outs, I'd like to thank my gold patrons Legend64, Pluvius and Ijaz for your continued support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace!